Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 22. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bobby, and welcome back to this week's news report that is absolutely action-packed here with last week's news. There is plenty of it, so we have a bit of news coming out of Yield Note, plenty of other things for some of our platforms, and then, of course, it is the end of the month for all of our trading here also, so definitely we have a lot of things to go through uh, for weekly profits and monthly profits, and they are looking extremely good. Some of the things have been updated, basically. So since the last couple of weeks, and that definitely shows, we have a couple of new videos out there also to help you try and find that extra profit in there. And obviously we have a bit of news and information also from Alex, an expert Forex, of what they have been up to for the past week. So let's start, let's have a look and see exactly how the week went. And one of the things of course for deal notes is the 5% that we are waiting for, we are now coming into the month of June, and that means there's basically one month to go until we will have the 5% credited into our account, but obviously not paid out. Now this week, Steve, the CEO of Yield Notes here, had a bit of information and updates for all the members, and we just handpicked a few of the ones. And this is the first one where he says, Dear Yield Notes, we would like to provide you with the latest update for the month of May. NFT launch. We are currently finalizing the details of the NFT launch in collaboration with our legal team. Due to recent changes in the regulatory framework, it is crucial to ensure all things are legally covered. The NFTs will be released to you in due course. Please note that you will have the option to sell or retain them until we are ready to incorporate them into the new uh, Yield Notes Pro, which may undergo a name change for marketing and representation purposes. Second part is creation of the Senemi. Given the complexity involved in money law and the creation of the decentralized economy area, the team of the Senemi is also in discussions with a renowned university and money theory professionals to handle the development of the white paper itself and the mechanism for the value uh, preservation with the Senemi. They will share further details in due course. Third part is asset and the Senemi, the project the Senemi has established partnership that holds the potential for over 400 million in yearly transaction value, ensuring a strong position once the Senemi launches. They will continue to gather assets and unreal these partnerships when they reach a more advanced stage in the determining function of the Senemi, which again we believe will be at the end of 2023. Hopefully everything will be implemented either by then or by first quarter 2024. Again, the 400 million, we have also heard this one uh, previously. And then we have the part of the volatility of coins. Currently, coin prices are experiencing high volatility and remain um, basically fluctuating based on perceived values. However, true value will only be determined once the system is fully operational. Please do not be alarmed by the low trading volume at this stage as asset begins uh, to transact and we will solidify our position in the eyes of investors and partners. The trading volume should increase as well. So basically um, we do hear a, a lot of things, but nothing really concrete came out of that particular email here, which is a bit sad. Yes, of course, it's nice to know about the NFTs, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really uh, change very much for us overall. So let's have a look and see exactly how the Decenemy coins have uh, basically moved forward in the last week. And obviously, as Steve said, there is the low uh, basically flow of the coins. And that is also showing in this week's um, Decenemy coins that we have here at least. So if we look at SAP and Sapphire coin, uh, we have on iHost MN we can see that return on the investment is slightly up from last week. It was 59%. Now it's just at 60. And this is again per year. Yeah. Shared master noting, we uh, did about 3% for the SAP this particular week. But overall coin development has continued to decline again this week by another couple of percent. And we can see that on the graph, even though it is small and minute changes in here, definitely we can still see that there is a downwards trend at the moment, so definitely not uh, looking very good. 
One of the uh, other coins that we have here is the PNY, and uh, not much is actually changing with that coin over time. We can see the return on the investment on the site here is down by less than a percent, and uh, obviously still around 51.62, so quite okay. Shared master noting again uh, this particular week we did about nine percent, so that's definitely not too bad for the PNY. But overall, coin development is basically hovering about the all-time low. Um, which was last week where we ended up with minus 97.14%. Uh, and as you can see, we are not very far off that particular target either this week. Again, the curve is flat. Nothing is really happening. So if nobody is buying, nobody is selling, obviously the price will not change at all. And now uh, having a look at Byrek, which has been the most positive influence in the last couple of weeks. But that also seems to change here lately return on the investment for that particular platform is down uh, by 134% from last week, down to 131, so basically lost about 3%. Investment, so overall for the shared master noting is 10%, so that is pretty much in line with what we have seen recently. Overall coin development has taken another hit and we are now back into minus after a long time in positives. But minus 25.4% is definitely not something to be very happy about at the moment. And also here you can see a downwards trend. I guess everybody is reacting in some way, shape and form to the information, lack information or basically no new information coming out of yield notes. If we have a quick look at Bitcoin, we can see that last week we left it around 26200 marks since then things were moving forward again after it was actually declining so in the previous week we ended up just uh, hitting the 28400 mark and then again it has been on the decline at the moment it is a bit higher than when we left it last week currently at 26800 we'll have to see if that is uh, the highest it's going to get for this particular week BNB also did a similar um, basically trend. We left it here at about 305 last week, and that one also went up, uh, similar to what you saw on Bitcoin, then hitting uh, just about the 317 mark, and then uh, has basically been in a decline since then. And currently it's moving around the $304 mark. Now, last week we did a poll and that was quite an interesting one. It was a very short one. We only had a few days, so not too many people managed to um, basically tick the boxes here. But we could clearly see that Forex is the main part uh, why people are watching this particular channel here. Obviously, there's also some cryptocurrency and some passive income platforms that have an interest together with stock. And then uh, real estate shows up with about 2%, which we have absolutely nothing of uh, at all on this one. So this particular week, we did a new poll. We basically went out and said, OK, what is your Forex trading experience level to get a better understanding from where our viewers are? And uh, some of the results was a bit puzzling, certainly not one that uh, I would have expected. Uh, and that would be on the novice area and it would also be on the expert area. So obviously fundamental awareness, basic knowledge of Forex trading and the experience level here. 11% sounds pretty okay. We would have expected a lot more of the percentage being in the novice and obviously again in the middle intermediate 47% uh, makes perfect sense. Then you would normally have a decline again in advance. But we are quite surprised that 21% uh, recognize themselves as experts that are watching our show, which is obviously great news. Um, but I myself here uh, most probably will be in the category of advanced only. So I hope that this is still interesting enough uh, for all the experts here to hang in there uh, and see what is coming. Now, what is coming is also a uh, tree. We have no news exactly of when that is going to happen. And it looks like also the support. So from within the uh, Trillion platform here uh, is a bit upset about that or definitely don't want to answer any questions anymore about it. They sent this out in the uh, week's news report. It says all updates and news about the Trill will be distributed exclusively through our newsletter. This way, we can ensure that all community members have access to the latest information at the same time. 
and are on the same uh, information level. As part of this change, from now on, our support team will no longer answer questions regarding news or updates about the Trill. So basically, we're talking about the stable coin here within the platform itself. The team will still be here to answer any other concerns and questions you may have regarding the service and products. Well, maybe it would be a very nice idea that uh, we heard a bit back from the CEO and the uh, top team in here. Exactly what are the deadlines, because we know that uh, the uh, support coins are supposed to come out here. So basically the stable coin itself, everybody is sitting and holding on to those. And it was supposed to be released by uh, first quarter of 2023. Now, obviously, we're already in June and there was a bit of information coming out saying that this would most probably come out at the end of June. So it would be very nice to get a bit of an update and uh, try to get the platform going because I believe everybody is basically sitting back right now and doing very little to uh, help and develop the platform itself until they can see these things actually coming through. Now, also on the Trilando side here itself, there's a bit of a news. And part of this is by registering through the Trilando uh, ref link, which is a new link that they just set up. The new uh, storage partners can benefit from a voucher worth 300 euros for a business account. This special offer is part of our efforts to reward and strengthen the cooperation with our partners. Obviously quite nice. There is a bit of a procedure within the uh, newsletter itself. So you can go and have a closer look if you have a business um, that you want to basically promote within the Trilando platform itself. Now we also need to have a quick look at the, uh, the tree itself that is coming out. And this is obviously the one that is not the stable coin. So it's only spelled T-R-I and it doesn't have the L at the end of the day. And that means also that that one you can go on the exchanges, the uh, XT is the one we have here. Unfortunately, what is uh, basically upsetting people in here is that the uh, coin value is going down. It was 5 cents. It was up to 10. And obviously, as you can see since then, things have moved in the wrong direction, especially in the last couple of weeks. Last week, it was at 0 0.000-6959. And now it's uh, declined even further. So about 15% down to 0 0.000-5751. And again, we can see a big sale off at about 218 million. And that definitely didn't help the price either. If we go to Coinstore, which is the second crypto exchange where you can also get your tree. Uh, again, very similar pattern. Also here, it was at 0 0.006866. Also down here uh, by about 15% to 0 0.005565. And at the moment, it looks like it has flattened out a bit. We will have to see if that trend is actually continuing or we can hopefully but surely uh, get a bit of a pickup on some of these coins here very, very soon. Moving on to the money tree, uh, we actually released this particular video here last week, how to find the 10 best currencies to trade with the money tree. Don't forget that the money tree has about 18 different currency pairs that you can go and uh, trade with. We decided that we're going to try and optimize and tweak that particular EA. So that video is part of this in order to get higher profits, also get higher win rates. And the last win rate we had here with the money three was about 93.5% based on this particular video. So it's definitely worth having a closer look at. And you can see the uh, profits that are coming in here now for week 21. We have the three account, low, medium, and high risk. And don't forget here, low risk is actually originally a $10,000 account. We did lose about 30% because we set our stop loss there. That is now a couple of months ago. It's now trading up against the, uh, I think it's around $8,000, $9,000 something, sorry, again here. And it's moving forward. We have made some changes overall to it. And we can see that the low risk for the week uh, did $133.79 or 1.6%, which is definitely not bad for a low risk account. Medium risk is $176.17 or 3.5. So that is also a good and stable profit from here. High risk, $284.50 or 5.7%. So definitely some very, very good results. And we have also seen uh, since then 
there's been only very few and low drawdowns. Now you can obviously go and find all these links here, including a fourth link from the uh, IG broker that we also set up. But again, as we mentioned before, this is very broker sensitive, so we don't recommend anything but the Blaze broker to run this particular on. If you are interested, and if you're interested in buying this particular robot here also, we do have a Money3 coupon code that will provide you with a 5% discount. And at the same time, you will also support the channel. So if you like what you actually see and hear. So uh, the coupon code is on the screen here and feel free to use that one. Now also we have a lot of emails in the last couple of weeks uh, asking us if we can help if they buy the Money3, if we would like to help them and if they have problems with the setup, installations, things like this. And uh, that actually led us to making this particular video this week. So we will show you in this one here exactly how to buy, get your uh, discount to make sure that you get that one, how to get it installed, and also which videos to have a closer look at in order to improve the setup. Obviously, you can follow exactly the guidelines. So from the developers, leave FX here, but we have been playing around with this now for a very long time. And obviously we have tweaked and tried to refine it to make sure that we only use the absolute best currency pairs in order to get the highest profit. And this is what May is all about. We can really see things have moved around for the money three, the low risk one, which again was originally the 10,000. And that's why you see the percentage is a bit uh, different from the medium and high risk, but the low risk actually made $915 or 11.9% for May, medium risk, and this is a $5,000 account, uh, $769 or 5.4%, and then the high risk, a massive $1,458 or 29.2%, and this account here also, don't forget, is a $5,000 account, so that has really turned around. At the same time also, we have made some changes to the uh, maximum drawdown, we will let the EA um, basically allow, which is at the moment set for most of them for around 20%. And that now also means that the high risk account, even though you should get a heavy drawdown and basically a close off, you will maximum lose 20%, which again means that you will still be in a nice profit. Obviously this doesn't happen every day. If you go and have a look closer at the developer's uh, history, you will see that that hasn't happened too many times. We have recently maybe about two in a, a span here over a period of time. So definitely it looks like uh, this one here is a keeper. What is also a keeper is definitely profit retriever. It is doing quite well, even though week 21 was a bit of a slow week. Again, here we can see New Zealand US dollars only came in at $439 or 4.4%, Euro New Zealand $332 or 3.3%, and then the US Canadian came in at $308 or 3.1%, British pounds USD number two here is $306, 3.1%, and the other British pounds USD also ended up very close in the vicinity for the first one, $293 or 2.9%. Overall, if you would have traded those for the last week, you would have made $1,678 or 3.4%. Obviously, we have seen a lot better results, but we'll still take it uh, definitely when we have a look at how the market developed in the week. Now, we also have our entire portfolio, and that is also including uh, more than 25 different EAs running the Profit Retriever, so we always know which ones are the best ones to create overall. And as you can see here, the weekly returns are quite good. The monthly returns too. And don't forget that this is actually calculations by FX Blue. Uh, we are calculating that like we always have $10,000 accounts. FX Blue don't. So these numbers is a bit low compared to what we uh, basically do because we don't increase the lot size as we go along. Now, the impressive part, of course, here is that we have a history for the portfolio of 441 days overall. And as you can see, the month of May was also a good one for the portfolio, not the top one, but definitely a good one of $19,212 overall. And we'll take that any day of the week, especially when you look back at the uh, April month that was uh, a lot, lot lower and had a lot of drawdowns in it. 
Now we also do the weekly reports where we are always looking back at all these different uh, EAs to see which ones are doing the best. And if you follow the top 10 results, it will give you a very good idea uh, which ones you could uh, basically trade. If you want to trade it through the coupling service or you want to trade it yourself, this is basically the video to go and have a look at to make sure that you can see which ones are moving, which ones are the ones cashing in every single week. And the top 10 there for the last week uh, that we made that video actually made uh, just over 12,000 uh, on 10 accounts. So again, more than 10% overall. Also here for the profit retriever for the month of May, we now have the numbers in here and they are looking very good. The ones that are on top is also the ones we have seen in the top 10 here recently. It's the Aussie Japanese at the moment cashing in. $3,113 or 31.1%. It had a big spike in the early part of the month and that has basically carried over, of course, uh, still to, to distance themselves from the rest of the currency pairs here. The Aussie Japanese number two, which is the uh, same currency but different setup here, has made $1,718 or 17.2%. And we have gold in here also, which is doing quite well, $1,211 or 12.1%. Bitcoin, which seems to be extremely stable and uh, basically works very well in the market at the moment. We can see more and more people also copying this one, is at $1,192 or 11.9%. And the last one that finished off the top five is the US Swiss francs at $1,139 or 11.4%. So overall, if you would have traded those five uh, currencies here within the month of May, you would have made $8,375 uh, or 16.8%. And that is definitely good enough for us. Now we also took a, a look on the Expert Forex uh, homepage and we actually saw some of our signals. You can normally always find our signals here because it has a C at the end of whatever link it is. And here we are on top with link 128 and 130. And this is a chart apparently from uh, Expert Forex on the web page. It says best equity gains uh, last week. And then that was updated on the 27th of May. So obviously very nice to see that the hours are moving in the right direction. On top of this, we also had the best eight week gain on drawdown. Again, uh, this was link 127C. I was actually on top here and we had another link 107C that is also in there. So great to see that uh, our links are still uh, represented also in the uh, top part of all these copy links. Now you can obviously find a lot more about the Profit Retriever. If you want to trade it yourself, then you definitely go to the Profit Retriever trading site and there's plenty of videos, tutorials and links also to get you started. Or if you go to the copy link trading, you will then also find information on how you can set your things up there. And also uh, videos within Expert Forex and our own that will help you get started on copying basically uh, other traders like myself. Last but not least, you can also see we have the spaghetti trader in here and that is still under evaluation. And uh, this basically was from last week here also where we said we had the first live trading results we were showing you what was coming out of it since then things have not really panned out the way we wanted them to do at the moment we are trading them on 15 one hour and four hour time frames in here and we did make some adjustments which again on the back testing it looked very good but obviously we can see that they haven't done so well. And uh, the red line you have in here is basically where we left things last week. Uh, it still looks to be going only one way for some uh, strange reason here. And none of our testing has actually shown this. But again, as I mentioned before, uh, Alex did reach out to me here also saying that he got some mixed results on the spaghetti trader. And uh, obviously he seems to be right because we can't get this one here to work at the moment either, but obviously we're not giving up on it. It needs a bit more time uh, to see if we can turn this one around, but there might be obviously a reason why this one has become a free EA. Now you can find more about the details in here if you want to see exactly how we are trading it and how it has gone in detail, then you can find that on our website here for the 15, one hour and four hour charts. 
Also, last week we mentioned here we have a new mystery robot. It is quite new. We don't have much details and data on it. But as we also wanted to introduce this, we uh, actually ran into a bit of a drawdown with them. So we didn't want to include too much information again for you until we figured out exactly what it was all about. Uh, there was a drawdown, as you can see, and uh, this is the account where we are running 22 currency pairs. Um, basically, it went down a couple of thousand in here. It also ruined the nice maximum drawdown we had of only a couple of percent on this particular one. It went all the way up to 18 percent. Profitable trades also was in the 90 percent and it went all the way down to 79. We do believe that this should be in the area of 90%. But as we said, this is early days and you can see the history here is only 16 days overall. Um, but again, this is supposed to be the uh, low risk one, but we actually found that the second one where we are running 10 currency pairs and we are running different set files overall had uh, even bigger drawdown, even though it has less currencies in there, but that is because of the settings they have. But as it comes out, both the 22 currency and the 10 currency here, you can see it made actually uh, quite a bit of a jump up and did a lot of extra profit. And that's also why here it looks like FX Blue has calculated this one back into uh, basically 5% weekly return at the moment or monthly returns of 24%, which is obviously excellent. That's exactly where we want to be. Maybe it's a bit high. Um, so we need to let it trade a bit longer, but definitely we will start uh, sharing this as soon as we have everything up for our web page also. And some information on exactly how it trades and how it has done it. And obviously also in here, we will most probably make a tutorial in the uh, beginning or a, a bit later on here to make sure that you can go and buy this, most probably also with some kind of rebate for you in order to help and support the channel overall. So it looks very interesting. It definitely there is a good potential in this particular EA we think. Now there's also potential of course in Expert 4X. This is one of Alex's videos basically explaining uh, how he made a million dollars and the copy plan and the strategy behind it. So if you're interested in that definitely that is the video to watch here. And he made another video regarding index trading and how it has done 20% a month. And you can then go and have a look at some of all these. We also do indexes and they actually do uh, make some nice profits, but you should most probably uh, trade it on a larger account than just a $10,000 that is normally recommended. That is certainly our recommendation. And also you can find more on that on the uh, on our website. And we have a video here from uh, Alex on a trader that actually sent him an email saying he had previously lost about uh, $50,000. He never gave up. And he is now uh, linked up with the copy link service. And he says he has made most of it back here now. So very, very uh, happy guy. And obviously, why wouldn't you be? And last week, we also mentioned here that there's a video out. Alex is currently asking testers to come and uh, test the new hedging and direction finding strategies in here. We are part of that test group and we have gone through a couple of phases already. The rest will still to come. It takes a bit of time to run through all these individual tests. And we also have quite a few currencies to test overall. But uh, hopefully we'll have some news and information for you uh, very soon when some of this testing is done and over. And that's what we had for you in this week's news report. As you can see, there is plenty of profits. There is plenty of new things coming all the time. Definitely, we will always keep you up to date. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope to see you next week again. Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way, you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.